Tonight we gather for a time of reflection. Now is the time when our community and the people of the nation join together to remember and to honor. For soldiers north and south, Spotsylvania was a harrowing stop on a long journey from home. A journey they and their families hoped fervently would bring them back home to Bangor, to Birmingham, to Penyan and Lexington and Abbeville and a thousand other places. We are a remembering people. We do this not just for our sake, but for our forebears as well. One thing that sustained these men in times of crisis, even death, was the confidence that those who followed would not forget what they had done. And so today, we remember, fulfilling a historical obligation and also enriching our own lives our nation too. H. Lewis, 10th Alabama. Oh. Private William McCutcheon, 105th Pennsylvania. Pri Private Jesse Dudley, 32nd Maine. Paul H. Lewis. Private William Fay, 49th Pennsylvania. Private James H. Pulley, 14th Sergeant Henry South M. Hill, 21st Private George Virginia. C. Hatfield, 63rd New York. Sergeant Alexander F. Saunders, 23rd North Carolina. Private William Fay, 49th Pennsylvania. Private Jean if effort is a measure of commitment, if sacrifice is the measure of will, then no place measures the depth, nature, and intensity of the American Civil War more so than this place. The long journey from home would bring tens of thousands of men to this place on May 12, 1864. As far removed from home as any soldier might fear to be. Do they miss me at home? Do they miss me? T'would be an assurance most dear To know that this moment some loved one Is saying I wish he were here Speak kindly and pray tenderly for our noble soldiers who face death in all its saddest and most trying forms. The Southerners here fought for nothing more tangible than time. Northerners fought for nothing less than the destruction of Lee's army. After 22 hours of continuous combat, the field fell silent. 